Is this gimbal better than the Ronin S? How's it going guys? It's your boy, Dean. It has been a while, but I'm excited to bring you another episode of Dean doing things on the internet. So today we're gonna take a look at the Ronin S versus this gimbal, the Bayou Tech AK4500. So I'm pinning these two against each other because they're both handheld gimbals for DSLRs with very similar statistics, very similar look, very similar everything. They're very similar, but with slight differences. So let's get into it. So if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of the Ronin. I'm a, I'm a Ronin fanboy, a little DJI fanboy. Got the drones, got all the gimbals from them. Love them. Think they're an amazing company and they've really set the bar high for competition. So this company, Fiutech, just came out with this gimbal um, and they sent me an email and they said, Hey Dean, um, do you think that you could review this? And um, I was like, how much money? And they're like, no money, but we'll send you the gimbal for free. And I was like, cool. So this will be completely unbiased because um, this is not a sponsored video of any sort. Um, it's just basically uh, my review of it. So I have a video about the Ronin S, um, my one year in review of it over on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to go check that out before or after this video, uh, cause I'm basically going to be diving into this and kind of comparing it based on other things that I've talked about before. One of the biggest noticeable differences is going to be this giant arm that's sticking out of the gimbal. Uh, this is an add on attachment, so you can remove it if you don't like it, but it's super lightweight. It doesn't really add anything onto it. And I really like the feel of holding it with that. Um, just getting those lower shots, it's just a little bit more stability and security. I don't know if there's an arm attachment available for the Ronin S, but I do think that that is pretty much the biggest selling point for me is the arm. So something else that's pretty cool about this gimbal is it has a quick release plate on top of the plate mount. I know a lot of people have altered their Ronin S to where they can make it a quick release or they add a quick release plate on top of it, but this comes with it natively and I think that's a super smart idea. It has a similar feel up top to the Ronin S just in terms of size, um, in terms of metal quality. So moving down lower onto the gimbal, you'll notice that there's a difference in the grip and I much prefer the Ronin S grip over this. Um, it just kind of doesn't feel right. It's the same sort of material, but uh, the Ronin S has these nice ridges and has a uh, place for your finger here. And it just kind of feels like you're gripping a bike. Like it's just got a, a good solid feel to it. And this one, your hand kind of slips. They both have the same stand that folds in so you can get a better grip. So this is where it gets a little bit different. The Fiutech gimbal has a LCD screen on it and it's actually a touchscreen, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the Ronin S has the joystick versus the thumb pad. Um, I prefer the joystick for the movement better than the thumb pad. I feel like it's really easy to slip um, and the joystick is kind of a lot more, uh, I feel like I have a lot more control over it basically. So they both have the follow focus ring that comes with the attachments. They both have the ability to record from the gimbal uh, with the right cord attached to your camera um, and they have different modes and settings. So this gimbal comes with four rechargeable batteries and you shove them up in the bottom here. I really don't like, I think that that's a pretty flawed design versus the Ronin uh, where you have the charging cable, the USB 3, USB-C, whatever it is. It's the same one as my laptop, so I can charge it with my laptop charger, get a lot faster. It comes with one of the cords. It's a more universal cord. Um, I know some phones even use it as their charger and it's just a lot more convenient on the go, uh, instead of just having to open this thing up, get all the batteries out, have them put them on the charger, and then it's just really inconvenient. So I think that Ronin definitely takes it on that one. So this came in a ton of different pieces and parts. Um, it came with a follow focus, but I can't use it on my camera just because it's too tall for the gimbal. I had the same problem with the Ronin. Uh, it's the 1DX, it has uh, the battery grip on it, uh, so the lens rides a little bit higher, so I'm not able to use it, so I'm just not going to be using that with this gimbal. But besides that, all of the parts and pieces that came with this, and the instructions were very unclear, 
It's very unintuitive and it was a headache to try and even balance this thing. And even once I got it balanced, the camera started shaking once I had it balanced and I turned it on, it started shaking. And then I hit this, this, uh, this lock button on the side. It has a, a lock button for the, um, for the arm and it made it stop shaking, but then I couldn't tilt the camera. So the Fiutech gimbal and the Ronin both have an app, which is awesome. Uh, that can, lets you connect your uh, camera, lets you connect to the gimbal and control it from the app itself. So you don't have to touch the gimbal. Um, which is good for time lapses. It was balanced from my perspective, but it was shaking. So I went into the app and tried to find out how to balance it. And a lot of the instructions were in Chinese. And I really don't think that this is meant to be an American product. So we know that Ronin is the flagship. It's made by DJI. They are the flagship for drones. They're the flagship for motorized gimbals. They have it down. So now what we're seeing is a lot of competitors coming into the market and kind of putting their twists on it like, hey, what doesn't the Ronin have that we can add to this? Like a quick release plate or like this arm, um, but it's lacking in certain areas that has been mastered by DJI. So what are gimbals for? They're for getting steady footage. So let's take a look at the footage and compare. We're here to get smooth, crispy footage, man. That's all we came here for. They come in at two different price points, so I'll let you guys decide. Uh, I'm gonna link both of them in the description, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna be using the Ronin. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all that jazz. See you guys in the next one. Keep killing it.